Welcome everybody to this last tutorial where we're gonna set up a CouchDB replication. Before I dive in into it, so I'm just gonna explain a little bit what is going on, on the screen. So we have the HProxy interface here. This is HProxy interface, and this is the CouchDB uh, master web interface, and we have the CouchDB slave uh, web interface. So I'm just gonna explain a little bit HProxy. HProxy, this is a stats, uh, statistic web interface so here we have the CouchDB uh, master here we have the CouchDB read here the green color mean is up and running and you can even see here with this uh, app you have the app here which means up and running to make sure that uh, if it's not running so the color should be uh, uh, red so to, to make sure so I'm gonna explain a little bit this one as well so this is uh, uh, let's say the terminal. I have three tabs here. The first tab will be for HProxy. I'm just gonna log into the HProxy, and the second time uh, log into the CouchDB master, and the third one uh, log into the CouchDB read. Yeah, that's done. So what I need to do now, I can try to uh, get up to this one here. This is to change the color. So the HA proxy will be red and I can copy this one and paste it to other terminal. So for the custom master, maybe we want to make it green. So this is green and here maybe we want to make it uh, yellow. So we just have to change this number and it's yellow. So as I said, in this one here, this is the CouchDB read. So I'm just gonna stop the service running here and you can see this will turn into red color. So I'm just gonna say uh, shooter etc uh, init d CouchDB stop. And this is stop it. So now let's see what will happen here. You might see this might change into uh, red color. And if we do the same for uh, the CouchDB master, the etc init cache db stop so this must be also this uh, will also turn into a red color which means the server is down you can see it's written here down that means the service is down so uh, if i will lose the page it should be you know yellow uh, it should be red so this is down so i'm just gonna start again start the server and here I will also start the server here yeah so and if I reload this one is green so basically before uh, starting with uh, this replication so uh, what I said about HProxy HProxy is on top of those two server I can explain it a little bit uh, for this uh, graph here so pretty much we have our HA proxy here this is the HA proxy load balancer so every write request will come to the master and every read request will go to will go to uh, the slave so we're gonna just uh, uh, trigger the replication in this case so what we need to do now is to create two databases in uh, inside the HA proxy so I'm inside HProxy here. This is HProxy. So we're just gonna test that every write request will go to the CouchDB uh, master here. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna create a curl and then export uh, HTTP and uh, localhost uh, port uh, 5984 and just gonna put call I'm gonna create a database call so it's created so if I come back here and reload the page I should see the call database has been created so this is great so I can create another database so it can be uh, books and then uh, the book should be created here as well uh, as you can notice we are not really running this inside a um, CouchDB master server. We are running that inside the HA proxy, and HA proxy in turn will direct that request to uh, the CouchDB master, which in turn will create the database inside the server. So uh, we can try to read uh, database. If everything is right, we can just x 
and we can get the methods will be get HTTP uh, local host and the port number 5984 and we can say all databases or DBS oh, curl what did I X yeah so you can see we only have since we created book and call that when we fetch all the database uh, we get only replicator and user we get only these two so it means uh, everything that I said was correct uh, when we read from the database it's gonna send a request to the slave and the slave only have uh, replicator and user so this is correct but if I run this inside uh, the CouchDB server so I should get all uh, cache DB so this is a uh, book score user replicator but now let's try to create inside um, a, a database inside a slave to make sure that when we fetch from HProxy we get so I'm just gonna say uh, test DB I will create this inside uh, the slave and this is correct and when I came back here I will see I have a test DB and let's try to fetch the database again from here and you can see the test DB is here so when there is a read request HProxy will direct that to uh, the slave server and the slave server will respond back to HProxy so this is correct so now what we need to do is to set up the replication so inside here I've created two databases so books and car so what I need to do is to make sure that I replicate uh, this to the slave and call to the slave and the database book from the slave and from the master after replication will be synchronized all chain you made to uh, those databases inside the master the chain will be uh, reflected inside the slave so let's do the replication so I'm just gonna uh, make this terminal a little bit larger a little bit so I'm just gonna copy the replication command so I'm not gonna uh, try to write everything so curl this is the replication command from and you need to run this inside the map the read the slave uh, server so we have here the local host and the source will be the database that we want to copy into the slave so the source will be from the master if you remember this IP address from the master and the target is locally so it means inside your slave mass the slave server what will be the name of the corresponding database and the create target will create it and continuous replication that means that uh, actually that everything that changed on the master uh, car database will be replicated to the car database inside uh, the slave so I do that, uh, we have the invalid JSON somewhere, so I'm just gonna make sure where I have this code. Uh, remove this one too, and somewhere call, it should be, okay. So here we have replicated the database, so you should get something like this. And to make sure that you have it, you come back to the slave here, this is the slave. When you reload it, you should see car is already here. So we're gonna do the same thing for books. So we're gonna for the slave database we're gonna be we're gonna call it books and from the database from the master is books but actually these two names doesn't mean to be the same you can change this to maybe slave books or master books so and I'm gonna replicate this one as well and come back to uh, the slave server I should be I should see books so this is correct the replication has been triggered that's uh, really good so. Um, what we need to do now if I um, create something here let's say I get try to get all the database so now I get all this now from the slave uh, so this is the replication mechanism so what we need to do let's go to our master here and in the book here I will try to create a new document in the book so I will say uh, this is the ID and I will add field, I will say uh, name uh, books. So uh, I will say uh, the owner of the book and the value should be uh, Kalilu Diaby. 
and I will add another field which should be uh, description or summary so I will write uh, cache db replication and if I save this database this should be replicated to if we go back here book we don't have any any document in the book database so I'll go back to the overview and I will save this document here so we save this document if I go to book and this is book and I click here I have this inside here so uh, this is null somewhere I don't know what happened so I will just write uh, something cache db replication and I click OK and I come back here I forget to OK Kalilu DRB and I click OK and I save the document document saved if I go back and click again I would see description and the replication should take care of this so what mean this change here we create a new document inside the book database and we should see that uh, master will copy that new document inside the database books inside the slave so if I go to book inside the slave I should see the same thing here so this is great this is great and what will happen let's try another time so we can go back and we say call and when we gonna create new document we keep the ID generated we said type uh, call the type should be uh, SUV and then I say yes here yes here and then add another new field uh, we say model model should be probably I don't know I would just write something uh, mercy that's cool and then what I will do I will save this document and you can see we save this document here and if we go back to uh, book uh, overview we go back to car we should see this already replicated so this is how you uh, synchronize your database so it means whatever uh, database you have inside the master and you trigger the replication via uh, this command here for uh, the replication is per database so if you wanna uh, for instance uh, have the replication for book so you have to run the replication command for book for car so uh, this is how you trigger the replications uh, thank you very much for watching